Hey, it's Ocean. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome here. Thank you so much for stopping by because you clearly were interested in knowing what the Compton Cowboy is. I was going to make this a mini series, but then I thought, ah, oh, that's just like too much pressure. I just want to play this out because I had the storyline in my head. And if I don't at least give it a little bit of attention, my brain is going to explode. I know you're like, what is the Compton Cowboy? So there's this song called Hilly Billy's. By one of my favorite rappers or my favorite rapper actually kendrick lamar and baby keem and in that song he goes and i'm best dressed moving forward yeah tiny tass on yeah all that compton cowboy all that he calls himself the compton cowboy and i love that so much because the world of delso valley reminds me of Compton. It reminds me of like LA. It really reminds me of that whole area. No, I've never been there. So if I'm like getting an inaccurate depiction of that, you can call me out. I'm okay with that. I just thought it'd be a really cool idea to bring that element to Horse Ranch. You know, I'm just like, ah, oh, I just want to play that. You know, I want to play out a dude that is from like LA he has no business on a ranch but I can't just throw him there there has to be a story so I'm excited to tell you all that story and just kind of play around with it and I want to know how you feel about it this is our Compton cowboy right here his name is Weston Weston Ochoa his last name is actually like Spanish um his dad his mom is black so where's his mom his mom Tamara Smith right here she works in customer service they are very very close I love her and this is his father Antonio Acho Ochoa, sorry. I um, mean, he's Mexican. He lives in Chestnut Ridge. Uh, he's a loner, and they have a very distant relationship. He's lived in Delso Valley all his life. He's born and raised here. His dad was a resident of Delso Valley before, before taken off to Chestnut Ridge, and kind of being distant forever. Uh, on and off. Weston has a best friend named Mercedes. Mercedes Bishop wants to become a lawyer. She is one of those um, women that uh, are very like motivated. She's highly motivated, high energy. They have been friends since they were like, what, seven and eight. So they've been friends for a long time. And it's because they grew up in this neighborhood. So they know each other a lot. I forgot to add his other friends in here, but it's okay. Cause by the time I play again, I'll add them in here, but I wanted to add in um, some friends that I have made before that I think would be really good friends for him. But right now he has his best friend, Mercedes, which I really like. I did not create this house. This is created by another simmer. I'm going to drop the gallery ID down below because I think that'll be really helpful. A lot of you always ask like, where's this lot from? Where's this lot from? Check the description first. I got you. <laughs> but I did refurnish and decorate the house and I love it. It's a very um, small house. You come right in here. We have, you know, mom loves the color red. Okay. Mom's loves the, the color red. So there's a lot of like red implemented here and it's very simple. She keeps a nice clean kitchen. Like there's not a lot of clutter here. This is mom's bedroom right here. Very simple. Mom has a nice TV in her room <laughs> while we still have like the older TV here in this room. Weston really loves DJ mixing. That's like primarily what he does um, besides trying to, you know, get good grades in school. And speaking of, Weston is 18. He's recently graduated um, high school, which we're going to get into in just a minute. I know uh, his room is a little messy. He has some music elements here he's got some bags and it's just his mom and him here so he does feel the need to protect his household because he is like the man of the house essentially so I know you're <laughs> looking at his desk like yo what is that but it's just normal like it's no big deal uh, she's on his laptop though which actually is abnormal because she doesn't really go in his room she doesn't really care but she has to head out they're actually stopping by here because <laughs> What are they arguing about? They're always arguing about something or he's always picking with her. Um, and she's ready to argue and debate because, hello, she's a future lawyer here. So this is Charles. Um, he's actually the grandfather of Mercedes. Charles, we call him Mr. Charles. He's very sweet, very helpful. We love him. So the reason why Mr. Charles and Mercedes are here is because uh, they actually live next door and they walk over here so that we all can meet and go to church on Sunday. So today's Sunday and Tammy doesn't play. They're already late. So she already has an attitude. And she's like, listen, you're going to church. You're still living in my house. You're going to church. Like he felt like he had an option today but it was like you really have no option <laughs> you're still under my roof and it's just the respect that they have for each other so I'm going to before I even send them there get Weston um dressed he wanted to get some cereal I think but 
yeah, they need to go ahead and head out. It's just so funny. Like, he just, he really thought. It's so, it's so funny. He's like, I just wanted some cereal, but they got to go. They're like literally late. <laughs> but I had to explain everything. So it's whatever. But I'm going to use the uh, family activities mod by Adeep Indigo to do the church services. So they're going to go ahead and go to that. You do not have time to eat your cereal. He's gonna Is he going to bring his cereal? No, he's just going to leave the Lucky Charms on the table. She's like, come on. Like, Weston, bring your butt. <laughs> like, everybody is out. So that's what they're doing today. And that's just a little bit of background for you. That was actually really fast and really quick. I'm going to come back here to Tammy, who um, is going to call Antonio back because he wanted to chat so we're gonna call and Antonio's just like hey and she's like hey what's up so um you know this is like your son's last year before he heads off to college because he will be heading off to college it is actually summer right now I haven't added any holidays I'm fresh I'm fresh in a save right now I just I placed like a couple of lots and stuff it is summer for 28 days don't judge me you know why because he has until the summer to spend time with his dad before he goes off to college. Or at least that is what um, Tammy has been kind of like talking to Antonio about. She's like, you really, I know he's he's almost grown, but, you know, if you're going to spend time with him, go ahead and do it because he'll be off to college. The welcome wagon, really? Y'all are throwing off my storytelling. Yay, no, it helps. This helps so much. The welcome wagon coming <laughs> helps so much because here are his friends. If you all don't know, I did make four brothers. They are on the gallery, CC free. And I made them because I let me invite everyone in. I made them because I have sons, like I have all boys. I love the idea of brothers just coming together and just being very close and having a really strong relationship. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm throwing the four brothers in here. They're perfect because they're also Delso Valley Rays. And another save, they're all <laughs> like, what's up, bro? What's up, Jason? I tend to make all my Sims close to uh, Jamari because he's like the oldest and he's like the really cool one. But I think I, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make him friends with like Jalil, really, because Jalil's like my hippie. He's my hippie boy. <laughs> I love this man. But yeah, that's cool. Look at them. <laughs> I love them. Mom is going to cook up some dinner, and over dinner, she's going to talk about what Antonio proposed, which is, hey, it's the summertime. You know, he hasn't, he, he's never been to Chestnut Ridge, you know. It's always Antonio kind of making his way on this side and staying for a little bit and then leaving. Weston has never been to Chestnut Ridge. He doesn't understand his father's ranch life. Jamari, stop talking to my mother because it's making me uncomfortable. Seriously, something about Jamari, like, I feel like he, he likes my mama. <laughs> Get your brother, bro, because food for us, how nice. He was like, dang, mom's is cooking for us already? Yes, of course, bro. You already know. Oh, so what are you doing this summer, man? This is our last summer before we, well, before you head off to college. <laughs> because Jalil's not going to college. Like I said, he's like my freegan. I think I actually made him a freegan. Look, I love him. I want to take a picture. He's so cute. I love this man. Dang, y'all kind of look alike. My Sims look alike. I'm suffering from same face syndrome, aren't I? <laughs> I don't even care. At least you know it's my Sim. Dinner is ready, and Jamari, you're literally still talking to my mom. So Tamara's gonna say, hey everyone, like, you know, food is ready, y'all can go ahead and eat. And she is going to kind of talk to Weston, yes, in front of his friends about um, going to his dad's. And it's funny because Jalil just asked him, like, what are you going to do for this? I'm like, this is our last summer, y'all. And again, they're adults now, but it's just still, they're still young. You know, they're still young. Like, I feel like when I turned 18, I still didn't have it all figured out. She probably already asked everybody what they were doing with their summer. So she's talking to him right now. And she's like, so how do you feel about going to Chestnut with your dad? He's like, what? For the whole summer? Yeah. Heck no. <laughs> no, mom. I have too many too many good things to do. <laughs> too many too many what? Too many what? Like what what else could you what else could you do, son? What else do you have to do? Making music all day. You can do that anytime. Give it about two weeks. How about how about you give it like two weeks? And then Jamari throws in his two cents. Actually that might be kind of cool, bro. You might find some different inspiration out there and come back with some fire music. <laughs> No, that's not how it works. She's like, see, I love Jamari. That's why I love Jamari. He's like, no, seriously, though. You could, like, 
hook your Instagram up. I mean, your Instagram up. Take some really nice pictures and, you know, be that person that actually gets out of here and travels. Like, that's kind of... I would want to ride a horse one day. I feel like Jalil... Let me make sure she introduces herself because I feel like she would know his friends. Like, you're in my house. Why wouldn't she know him? It doesn't sound like a bad idea, but it just doesn't feel like a way he wants to spend his summer. And Charles, like, kind of interjects in the conversation. And um, <laughs> they're like, yeah, let Mr. Charles speak. Let, let Mr. Charles say his piece. And he's just like, you know, one of my favorite memories is working on a farm with my dad. And then Jalil is like, farm? Like, what kind of farm? Because he thinks Char Mr. Charles is so old that he's been a part of slavery or something. He's like cracking jokes. Like, no, Jalil, stop. Like, <laughs> stop. <laughs> but he's like, no, seriously, my dad had a big you know farm chickens you know i learned how to do this and that just useful skills that y'all you know these young folks don't have anymore so we're actually gonna i want to talk about things with mr charles actually because he does have a like a really good point a really good insight he's like you know me and my father we never got along but on that farm we got along and i learned so much information that i always carry with me i feel like Jalil might be like can y'all imagine this dude with a cowboy hat <laughs> be quiet this is why I can't stand you. I think everyone's leaving now. And honestly, this kind of went un like surprisingly different than what I thought it was going to be. I didn't think the conversation would be so fluid, like as fluid as what it kind of went. But I don't know. Maybe we should go to Chestnut just for like two weeks. I don't know about the whole summer. That's what Weston's thinking. I don't know about the whole summer now, but two weeks like that kind of seems all right. So Weston is cleaning and Tamara's like, I hope I didn't put you on spot. <laughs> You know, but, you know, just think about it, Wes. You know, I know he, your father isn't perfect. You know he gets on my nerves, too, because they do. Like, they they literally get on each other's nerves, and it's so funny. It is so funny because they actually have good compatibility, but they just annoy each other in this weird flirtatious way where I feel like they're, like, twin flames low-key, but they're just not together. But we don't have to get into that because that's not any point of the story. But she's like, but you should think about it. You know, y'all are, he's only getting older. You can spend this one summer with him before you head off to college because you're still going to college, right? Yes, mom. Like He's like, yes, mom. <laughs> I am. College works differently in the Sims. Like we can literally get accepted within a couple like days. So I don't really have him um, in college and stuff right now. Like I don't have him applying for scholarships and all that stuff. Could have him though apply for scholarships. Future star education for all Delta Valley resident. Ooh, if he qualifies, it says Sims who are adept at any of the performing arts skills may be eligible for this scholarship. I definitely want to do that. I feel like he would want to go to school for what, you know, for for what he does, like the DJ mixing and all that. Weston is going to practice some music. And honestly, he's going to, you know, I think he should stop doing this because he knows this is after hours. Like, why are you doing this right now? Weston's going to get some sleep. Think about what everyone said. We'll see what decision Weston made tomorrow. Well, it looks like we made it. He decided to spend time with his dad. I mean, he's only getting older. And what does he have to lose? And he chose not to stay the whole summer. As of right now, he only wants to stay for about two weeks. That's like his max. <laughs> dad is coming up. We just came back from the airport here, which is actually a far drive because Chestnut is, it feels like we're in the valley. This is where our dad lives. He lives here on a little ranch. This ranch is actually created by Plum Dell, also known as Mellow Cat on the gallery. I really love their builds. This build was actually inspired by their grandmother's Mexican ranch. And I just feel like it has so much character. I want to live here forever and I can't wait to play in it. And it actually really, really fits <laughs> Antonio's vibe and what I envisioned for him. So he has this old Old truck here a little um you know a little fire pit just going to the back here I mean you can tell that he is alone here it's very ran down you know like it's very cozy at the same time so it does look lived in and here is dad's bedroom so this is like where he'll be sleeping but this is where uh, Weston will be sleeping and Weston's just like oh my goodness when he comes in here he's gonna be like oh, I, wanna, I just want to go back to my home mind you he has a little twin size bed at home but it's just you know not being here like he's not used to being here you know it's it's not comfortable for him 
Look at the painting on the wall with the horses. He's like, yeah, what in the world did I just get myself into? I think in this moment, he's probably going to take a picture. Yeah, let's have him take a picture. I'm in Chestnut now. He doesn't even say Chestnut Ridge. He just says Chestnut. <laughs> That's it. I'm in Chestnut. That's it. He would definitely call his mom first and foremost. Let's do a chatty family call with mom. Yeah, I'm here. She's like, how is it? You got to take a picture of the views. I know it's beautiful there. Yeah, it's all right. Send me a picture of your dad's house, too. I want to see what it looks like now. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if it's worth sending. So let's talk about the ranch, okay? Let's talk about Antonio, what he does and why he's here. So Antonio is the owner of Ochoa Family Horses, which I obviously we do not have any horses. Uh, um, Antonio is in the business of selling horses. So uh, yeah, we're, we'll get into that. But he has a lot of goats here. We don't have names for any of them. It's just goat, goat, hey, come here and, you know, like little names probably, but I have not named all these goats. There's no way. But they just linger around and he does collect like their milk and stuff and sells them. He sells the eggs from the chickens and also eats them. Um, the chick, the, the eggs, not the chickens. But this is mommy. And then this is uh, Pablo. And Antonio hates small talk, but he kind of has to do this he literally does hate small talk like it's in his somology i made it so that you know he doesn't really like to to do the whole like how have things been and how are you he really doesn't he's a loner um and he just he's like oh it's glad to have you here son oh look at them he's like yeah so uh yeah make yourself at home get comfortable um, i was thinking maybe you could uh, come out and meet the chickens and the goats. It's like, okay, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, so come on. He's like, yeah, so I got a lot of goats here. I can never keep track of them. Weston is like, oh my gosh, like it smells like complete poop here. I can't do this, but he's just being respectful. He's like, hi. Oh my God, dad, what the heck? Oh, dad, what the heck? He's like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. They just don't know you, that's all. They just don't know you, son, that's all. He had to hit push-ups after that. There is a welcome wagon coming because obviously this is a new save, but let's just pretend that <laughs> they're coming here because they see that his son is here. You all didn't have to come over here. Of course we did, stop being a loner. <laughs> He's like, no, really, Marissa, you really didn't have to come over here. I was just showing him around the ranch. He's like, oh, come on. How long is he going to be staying with you again? I didn't even know you had a son. Word of mouth runs around quick here. And so Wesson is going to, oh, my God, he's so mad about this head-on collision. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna introduce himself to everybody. Antonio's a loner, so he's really kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, Chestnut's all about community and and loving horses and all that stuff. But honestly, Antonio is just in his business and in his peace. So that leads me to the point. Weston is definitely different than his dad. He's very, um, he, he's outgoing to a certain extent. So Marissa, Tracy, the neighbor, and who, what's his name? Who's this guy's name? Umber Grove. They're all like, oh my gosh, like you talk, I would not even think that you were your father's son, you know, because they interact with him sometimes. He sold horses to, you know, the community and all that stuff. So they know his father. They know Ochoa family horses, but they just know that he's a very, like, he doesn't doesn't really go to the festivals he doesn't really go to big events he doesn't do the ranch events um, so they're just kind of like wow well finally your dad won't be here all alone <laughs> you know maybe you'll maybe you'll get him out his mood you know so we're gonna ask about the community here um, I also want to introduce myself to Roberto as you can see Antonio just walked on out because he's not really into all that but again he's getting stopped by Danny who's talking to him she's like you really do keep everything to yourself huh Kind of hard to do that in a in a town like ours. I didn't want the focus of this gameplay to be why he's not in Weston's life like that or why he he's literally in Chestnut Ridge when his son is in Del So Valley. He's not the best father, and but he's there in a way. <laughs> he just told a really bad story. His son's going to finish up that story like, well, Dad, he's going to tell a funny story. I remember when I was like nine and he took me to a petting zoo. Never thought that he'd literally have his own petting zoo. 
<laughs> well, we do have some business to um, attend to, so I do think that Antonio is going to ask everyone to leave respectfully. Like, can y'all... Um, he's actually just going to cancel the welcome wagon. Yeah, well, we have some business. We actually got to go down to the equestrian center and um, we got to check out some horses. All right, well, it was nice meeting you, Weston. Thanks, thanks. Nice meeting y'all, too. Thank you. Dag, dag, susu, dag, dag, what? <laughs> We're in New Appaloosa. And honestly, with seasons, this world just feels even better. I am floored. I am shaking. I love this so much. So Weston's like, Dad, what's this? And Antonio is just like, oh, they're getting ready for the Hey Now Festival, which that's what this is called. It's called the Hey Now Festival, um, created by Sim Cubes. You all know I rant and rave about their... <laughs> about their lives i had to show this one off the hey now festival is pretty is it's a pretty big deal for antonio because this is where sometimes he'll even pull up with some horses and show them off and you know see if anyone's interested in purchasing them antonio is not a very rich man but what he does is rescue horses it's obviously cheaper it is a little bit harder but that's what he does he rescues horses he trains them up and increases their value and he sells the horses to potential owners in chestnut ridge um horse racing is important too and competitions and stuff the community jobs horses are like a staple here it's everything so he is just one of the best in the handful of horse trainers <laughs> and caretakers that there is so he has business to do over here which is getting a horse today so i think we're gonna get tornado tornado is currently a, f a foal which i kept saying foul in my early access content and i was like oh my god now he's aggressive very needy and very scared and i and i just love that name tornado we're probably gonna get tornado first let's get tornado and then we'll probably get another horse too Weston has already made his way to the stage. <laughs> I'm crying. I love this. And he's starting to sing. <laughs> There's no reason for him to be doing this right now. <laughs> Yay, horse rescued. So I'm going to keep the name. I don't want to change the name. I love that name. Tornado. I think that's precious. Sage advice on family. That seemed like some very good advice about family. It just might help Weston on his life journey. I feel like he got that lesson from Mr. Charles. Like, hey, go visit your dad. Because even just while being here, he's like, dang, this feels so different. Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm really with my dad right now, looking at how he lives his life, you know. Again, I didn't want to make this LP about Antonio being a bad father. Just because his father's made mistakes, it doesn't mean that he doesn't love him or doesn't want to be around him or anything. It's not that extreme. He does love his dad. And um, it's just the way that it is and the way that it has been. So we have the, um, you need to come over here. So Sienna's actually like a horse trainer. So she's talking. I feel like she's like our, our arch nemesis. She's like, oh, so how's the horse training going? You got a new one? Yeah. Yeah, I got a new horse. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually training like several right now. So, whoa, dad, what is that? Hi. Wow, you're really a baby horse. <laughs> I've never seen, oh my gosh, dad, what in the world? Hi, I heard you are Antonio's son. What's your name? Uh, Weston, ma'am. <laughs> you don't have to say, ma'am. Just start off with a howdy introduction. Okay, how do I do that? She's like, Sully, Sully, just say Sully, Sully. So I'm gonna have him do that. Oh, look at this horse. Like this? That's right, Sully, Sully. Now you'll fit right in. Got you. All right, cool. But um, yeah, help your dad out on the ranch. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. He needs it. Horse training is a very difficult and competitive job. So you'll learn a lot. All right, son. Rule number one, don't listen to Sienna. She takes all the money because she tries to sell all the horses. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Weston, stay with uh, Tornado here. Stay with Tornado for me. Caring for a needy horse can be an emotional burden. Uh -huh. He's like, you have to stay uh, with Tornado. He's a little needy, so you got to stay with him. I just got to get one more horse. I got to get one more. I really want Endeavor. Endeavor is an Anglo-Arabian. I'm going to look that up. I want to see what they look like. The Anglo-Arabian or Anglo-Arab is a crossbred part Arabian horse that now has its own status as a horse breed. Okay. The cross can be made between a thoroughbred stallion and an Arabian mare or vice versa. Okay. Endeavor. I just love that name. Endeavor. Like Endeavor. Like what? Like you head first. All right. I'll be right back. I'm getting one more horse. Okay. So we have. <laughs> hey. You like this, don't you? Man, this is, this is, I never thought this would be my life. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> like, you just got thrown in there with the wolves. 
<laughs> We're going to take a photo of Tornado too. I have to tell mom this. I cannot believe I'm out here in the rain brushing a horse right now. Or a baby horse. I guess you're kind of cute though. Oh my goodness. Are you literally posing for me, Tornado? I don't know what this man thinks I'm, I'm here for, but I think he thinks I'm supposed to help him take care of these horses. And <laughs> Okay, I'm keeping Endeavor. He is an Achoa horse. So uh, let's shoot mama text really quick. Anytime I think that, I always actually do that in text. Like I will legit send a text to the sim. Like they can really see it. Like, okay, so we got um, Endeavor and that's all we needed. You know, he always does two horses at a time, Max. He doesn't like try to do the most. You really took on Endeavor? What do you mean? Endeavor. See, and it's like, you really took on Endeavor? And it's like, well, what's wrong with Endeavor? No one's bought him. He's been purchased and resold like three times. He can't be trained. Well, what do you mean can't be trained? He can't be trained, Antonio. He's a really difficult horse. So hopefully that 250 simoleons was well spent. So you don't believe that every horse can be rehabilitated. That's surprising from you, Sienna, considering that's your, that's your brand where every horse has a home. Listen, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with him. I'm just saying that you know, maybe he needs a more experienced trainer. Then why didn't you take him? Burn. <laughs> Why'd you pass? Because you want the easy way out too. Wow, y'all are going to exclude a horse like that? Like y'all are just going to make him feel like a lone wolf? I'm getting triggered. <laughs> He's getting triggered because I'm a lone wolf. Oh my gosh, look at Endeavor. You know what? Oh, God. Okay. Um, is Sienna around? Did she see that? Whew, okay, because I would have been embarrassed. Like, I, she just said, bro, like, she really... Sienna just said, told us about you. Hey, hey, shh, shh, it's okay. Listen, I know what it feels like. I know. I know what it feels like to feel like, well, <laughs> you know, no one cares. No one really sees the best in you, but it's okay. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hey, let's let's go back home. Will you, will you let me mount you? I really don't feel like Endeavor is going to let me mount. I really don't. So I'm kind of nervous about that. So let's just go home. Let's just walk. Around. We're back home. And dad said that we need to go ahead and refill the feeders really quick. And we also managed to get some new clothes. Does it always smell like this, dad? He's like, you get used to it, kid. All right. So... He's like, just call a tornado over here. Okay, so let's ask tornado to come over here. When we get inside, Weston's gonna try on the new clothes that we got from the like uh, in question center and the little shops near there, so that he can be a part of the ranch. Cause there's no way he's gonna want to wear this outfit all the time. Uh uh, no, not goats in the house. Not goats in the house. I cannot live like this. Okay, he's going to lock for all mini goats. Dad is off to sleep. So we'll let him do that. And here we can have him plan his outfits. Dad let him pick out his clothes, you know. Ooh, he loves olive green, so he's probably gonna wear this. He looks good already. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna give him these like dirty jeans. I feel like he'd have like a dirty pair and then just like a clean pair too. And let's get you some boots. I gotta get you some good old classic cowboy boots. I'm probably gonna add more outfits too on my own time. Man, can you imagine your boots just already getting dirty already cause y'all on the farm helping out dad and all that stuff. But again, he doesn't look like super ranchy, but like ranch enough. Oh my goodness, look at this man. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling this one and I think he is too. Oh, I love this. Now this is, this is, is, is a nice outfit, okay. Nice, do you see this? Okay. <laughs> he looks so different. Back to Endeavor. I wanted to take these little buns out of Endeavor's hair. Um, I wanted, I was looking up the breed and the hair is actually kind of like short. So I'm going to keep it kind of short like that. Oh, I kind of like this too. There we go. Okay, I love it. I love the all black. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> that don't look too bad, okay. <laughs> so that is, um, wow. I love how he's just checking himself out. He's like, all right, cool. Guess I can get down with this ranch stuff. I really didn't expect this to be as fun as it was. And I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm definitely gonna give you all another part. 
and again like this is kind of like a mini series can't really i don't know if it's really like a mini series because it's just like i'm just kind of playing it out as i go it's like me playing out a current household and a story that i have in my mind that i just half half <laughs> to execute because i just thought it would be a cool concept and i hope you all really liked it honestly but if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i'll see you in the next video all right peace out